Authorities still trying to figure out what sparked the Tubbs fire, the most destructive wildfire in state history. 22 people were killed. Thousands of homes were lost last year in Sonoma County. One of the fire victims, a little girl, lost everything, her home, her toys, and her most important belonging, her prosthetic legs. Our Betty Yu went to Texas to catch up with 10-year-old Lily, who is now seeing the brighter side to life after the wine country wildfires. Hi, Lily. How are you doing? Oh. How's it going? You're a Texan now. Yeah. <laughs> Lily Viagini started the fourth grade 1,800 miles away from her old home in Santa Rosa. Let's go in my class. The 10 year old was born with a rare joint disorder. She made the decision four years ago to amputate her legs so that she could move around with great independence. The night of October 8, 2017, her house she shared with her mom Jessica burned to the ground. This is what her rental home in Coffee Park looked like before the fire. And this is what was left. Amidst the ashes, her prosthetic legs. I lost my legs. I lost everything. They're really important to me. <laughs> they were a lot of money. Yeah. Can we stand on them? Sure. After the wildfire, the community stepped up. A San Francisco clinic fitted Lily for a pair of legs, free of charge. The two bounced around the Bay Area, staying with relatives and friends. At one point, they ended up homeless. What I told myself, I'm like, well, Lily, be brave, be brave. Don't worry about anything else, just be brave. Soon you will have your own house. You will not be living in your car. Looking for a fresh start this summer, the two loaded up their car and moved to Mansfield, Texas. The community has really embraced us. We kind of came here on faith. Um, no family, no friends. Lily and her mom say that they didn't intentionally choose to move out here to Texas. Texas really chose them. A world-renowned nonprofit hospital in Dallas called Scottish Rite accepted their application for orthopedic care. And on the same day, St. Joseph's Catholic School offered Lily a spot to attend. I'm very thankful that I have my own home. Her legs can be just like mine. In her new room, she showed me her favorite things. Lily keeps memories from her past year, including a special day with the Harlem Globetrotters in Oakland and the San Jose Sharks. My last name, Bia Jeannie, and then number one. The generosity of strangers has literally helped Lily and her mom get back on their feet. Still, things haven't been easy. Gas and groceries. <laughs> that's, what, that's what we need right now. Um, and so I believe I have $5 in my checking account. So we're really living off of fate right now. Wow. And just, okay, we're here, what next? So not Taking too sure what's day up next. by day. Hour by hour sometimes. Jessica is now searching for a job and taking care of Lily. On this afternoon, she's doing what she loves. I feel free when I swim. It's like the water knows how I am and the water knows how I feel. For a little girl who knows what it's like to have nothing, she knows everything about being brave. You lost everything, and yet you're still able to be positive. Yeah. How do you do it? So I always tell people, if you can't make something shine, well, I can make things shine. It's amazing that I'm here and the fires didn't hurt me or anything. In Mansfield, Texas, Betty Yu, KPIX 5. What an amazing girl. One year after she lost everything, Lily completed a triathlon. She took first place in cycling and swimming and second place in running. Sunday's race was with the Cook Children's Group in Texas. What an incredible lesson to be learned from a resilient young lady.